Hey guys, it's Jessica. So I've really been into rock painting lately and today I'm going to show you how I made the blue spiral rock that you see here. So I started, I'm just using plain acrylic paint and I have the dotting tools that are the drill punch transfers. And for my tiny, tiny dots, I'm actually using the head of a pin. I later realized that this wasn't super efficient. It's really hard to hold. It's hard to space them evenly. So I ended up digging out my dotting tools from my manicure set and that has made future rocks a lot better. So this is an ombre fade, which means that every subsequent row or I guess circle of dots that I do, I'm adding a little bit more of the light blue into the dark blue to help fade it out to a more pastel color. Unfortunately, I think I needed to also add a little bit of white because unlike the kind of green one and the purple one I did, this one doesn't have quite as obvious of a fade. I think it's okay to be subtle sometimes, but in general, my art style is not super subtle. So one thing that I figured out on like the eighth rock I did was that I needed a better way to spin them because I don't move my tool around, I move my rock around. And what I did is I found this Lazy Susan contraption. My husband had made me a swift when I used to knit. You use a swift to hold your yarn while you're using a ball winder to wind your yarn into a ball. Well, I haven't knit in like 10 years because I've been having really bad wrist issues. And so even though I felt really bad, bad, um, guilty taking apart something my husband made for me despite the fact that it's been sitting unused. I unscrewed it, took it apart, and used the spinning mechanism which is perfect for spinning my rocks and has really helped me with the spacing and kind of the pressure needed for the dots, although obviously I still need a lot of practice. So I let that sit overnight, kind of looked at it a little bit and decided it needed a little bit more oomph. So to get a little bit more I decided to add a shimmer top coat or top dot to every fourth row because there are 16 sets of dots in every row. So I had done that on the green rock that you saw in the first picture and I did that again here and after I finished all my dots I realized that I can't count and I did not do them every fourth row. So I decided to add just one more that was just one apart so it goes one, two, two, three, three and it looks like I did it on purpose. Add one more middle dot and here it is. And you can also see the pink to purple I did and the green to blue. I'm super happy with these. I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to post some more videos, have some more time for this. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe to see more. Thanks, have a great night.